guys and welcome to Armstrong Acres. Today I am gonna smash up our leftover Halloween pumpkins and feed them to the chickens. I might leave one pumpkin hole so that they can do all the hard work, but I really just feel like smashing some pumpkins today. So let's do it. So this is my pumpkin because I got chickens and then I made them my entire personality. And then these two were my husband and sons and they had plastic teeth in them that I obviously took out for this. Was that necessary? Maybe not. Was it therapeutic? Absolutely. All right, so I have a big old bucket of pumpkin chunks. I'm gonna go take it down to the coop and I think I'm gonna share some with the older rabbits too. Here are my ladies. Look. Oh. What do we think? Oh, getting right into it. Add a girl, Hennifer. Hennifer and Becky. Becky is the Bard Rock, and Hennifer is the Rhode Island Red. We've got Hazel over here on the ramp. She is an Easter Egger. We've got Olive right here, front and center with the floppy comb. She is my Olive Egger. We've got Ducky, the light Brahma. My five year old named her Ducky because she was the only yellow chick of our whole flock. And oh my God, we've got Janice here. <laughs> yeah, like that Janice. And then over here we've got Phoebe, the buff Orpington, and Lucy, the lavender Orpington. These two Orpingtons are younger than the rest of the flock and they are a bunch of lazy freeloaders and these two are not laying yet and are a great disappointment. but they're cute, so I let it slide. But yeah, these are my girls. And they seem pretty excited about the pumpkins. You're welcome. Oh look, we've got Ellie, the barn cat, coming to check out what's going on. You're probably hungry too, huh, sis? Yeah. Hi, are you ready to eat? Let's go feed you two. All right, ladies, enjoy. Listen, get out of the chicken coop. Come on. Come on. No, ma'am. Out. There you go. I really do mean it when I say that these nice days like today are numbered because it was about two weeks ago that we had several consistent days of snowfall like all day. So, love that for me. All right, let's see. Hey, Rex. Hey, big boy. Some pumpkin? Yeah. What do we think? You're like, I'm out of pellets. I would rather you just give me pellets. Understood. Coming right up. you poppy I don't have that much left for you here you go there's some pumpkin little love yeah you're like uh these aren't pellets <laughs> and then let's take a peek at our little babies oh hi so either this one right up here or that one back there both of the black ones one is a male and one is a female I am keeping the female. Obviously without actually checking, I don't know which one is which, um, but whichever one of you two little black bunnies is the girl, you are Nala and you are going to stay with us. And I am trying to sell the rest of the litter. They are so stinking cute though. They are five weeks old um, and they did lose mom about a week ago. Um, and they've been doing incredibly well, considering. They're eating and drinking just like they should be, and they're getting big, 
and so it's time to try to send them on their way. All right, I'm gonna feed these rabbits while I'm out here. The rabbits are supposed to be our five-year-old's responsibility, but if you have ever met a five-year-old, you know that responsibilities aren't always something that they're great at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and top off their feed um, while he's at school. Before I do any of that, I'm gonna feed this cat so that she stops yelling at me. There. If I fill the whole thing up, then all we end up doing is feeding the neighborhood cats. Which I guess is fine, because we've been finding tons of dead mice and dead chipmunks all around the yard, so I don't think it's our cat. I think she's rather useless in that department, um, but I do appreciate the valiant efforts of the neighborhood cats, so I don't mind feeding them, but if I fill the whole container up, they just they come and demolish it, so I just feed her one serving at a time. And now for the buns! Ladies first, my little poppy seed. Ooh, watch out! You gotta move your butt. <laughs> Otherwise I can't shut the door. There we go. To Big Papa. There we go, sir. Eat up. And on to the munchkins. Oh, good. You've been pooping in your dish. Great. I'm going to have to come bring out more. No, thank you. There you go. Dig in, kiddos. While I'm out here, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Let there be light. Oh, that was anti thematic. Anyway, and good heavens. Someone's been busy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I do feel like this one was from yesterday, so I'm not gonna get too excited because seven would mean that one of these freeloading Orpingtons would have had to lay an egg, but no, I, I'm pretty sure that one was in there from yesterday. But I mean, seven eggs, I'll take it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, if you want tickets to this, the crap show um hit that subscribe button and i will keep the content coming